range for example wheat rice corn etc flower pollinated by insects usually have colorful petals nice scent in the start to attack insects they have tricky or picky pollen grains that stick on body of insects for example Nostrally, lily, etc. Insects that have been pollination are called pollinators. Bees, moths, and valves are important pollinators. So now we will discuss the topic of types of reproduction in plants. So asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction in plants. In a sexual reproduction, plants can give rise to new plants without seeds. In this method, new plants are produced from plant part like stems, roots. A sexual reproduction takes place naturally and it can also be done by artificial means. Nurture a sexual reproduction can take place by vegetative propagation and fragmentation. This is done by plants on their own. Vegetative propagation produces no plant from a part of the parent plant in different plants. Vegetable propagation happens in different ways. For example, garlic, onion, and top of plants are responsible using true bulbs. They are modified stream that contains straw food, potato plants reproduce using tubers, they are short, thick inner ground streams. Zinger plants reproduce using rhizomes, they are horizontal underground streams. Strawberry plants reproduce using stall and it is a modified stream that grows along the ground. Stallions are also called runners. Preophilium plants reproduce by vegetative propagation of leaf pot. The birds swallow in Marginal notches of the leaf. Fragmentation is in the form of unnatural or sexual reproduction involves new plants growing from small parts of the parent plant that fall to the ground, for example. Animals of the wind can break streams on leaf of plants. This is one of the ways that plants like liverworts and mosses reproduce. Artificial or sexual reproduction is in plants is done by people. It includes grafting, lawyering, cutting. Grafting, in which part of stem of one plant is attached with part of fruit of another plant. Layering, in which a stream is spawned into soil that grows into a new plant. Cutting, in which part of a stem is cut and planted in moist soil grows into a new plant. What is sexual reproduction in plants? In flowering plants, sexual reproduction takes place with the hub of flowers. You have story about pollination in the first half and sexual reproduction in plants. The second strap is fertilization. In fertilization, the male reproductive sac combines with the female reproductive cell to form a fertilized egg. This leads to the formation of seeds. Once fertilization is complete, the ovule develops into seed. In the ovary into fruit, the fruit protects seeds. Seeds carry the fertilized eggs. It will develop into young plants once the condition of your evolve. So the plant, the petals, sepals, and stamen of the flower start to wither. They eventually fall off. The ovary swells and develops into fruit, while the ovules inside develop into seeds. A fully developed fruit with seeds is formatted. A ripe fruit with seeds inside. Tomatoes, springes, scambards, and olives are all fruits. As you were, today videos are closed at this topic. So meet the next video, most like the video and subscribe to the channel.